UNH. It's just one more thing that's uniquely UNH. And it is kind of a, an instance where you don't find this just anywhere. Right now, I'm 89. Oh, I'm here every home game. Yeah, I, would, uh, I wouldn't miss this for anything. Nick, ready? Fire! Nick Dewing owns the Cannon. It was his baby. He's always been connected to UNH football specifically, but he's a member of the Cat Club. And uh, he told me that the one time that he was bringing the Cannon down and he was looking for somebody to come down and help him just to kind of shoot it. Set charge! And um, it was popular. Ram! And all of a sudden it it's became a thing and it's been a thing now for 10 years. They fire each time they score a touchdown or a field goal. And we also fire at the very beginning when the cats take the field. We'll usually give them one shot going out. Now lately what we've done is we've got the muskets that can fire for the extra points. Because as a rule, you can't shoot the cannon within two minutes of when you shot it last. Now every now and then one of the muskets doesn't go off. But that's how it was in the revolution too. Swap. Not everybody likes it. You, you know, you bump into people say, love coming to the game, but boy, that cannon. Ready, fire! Other coaches that I've gotten to know say, Jesus, it's loud. You know, how close is that thing? I don't know. Good you want to shoot the gun? No, I don't want to shoot the gun. Okay. You don't want to. You had your yeah, chance. Oh, the, there's more to Dick than just coming to the game on Saturdays. Not only did he have a, an interest in UNH football, but he, he played. He's a Hall of Fame UNH fullback. You talk about the, the true Wildcat. Um, one, he was a terrific player. You, you hear the stories about him going both ways, playing both sides of the football. Just a respected guy in the sense of how much he loves the University of New Hampshire and the football program. He's been an honorary captain of ours uh, for, for one of the, the Colonial Clash down in uh, Gillette Stadium. He almost got us a penalty down there. And I was easing back around by the end zone. And by then, they'd already had a kickoff. And all of a sudden, there's our guy running for a touchdown. Dante Peters scored a touchdown back in the day. You weren't supposed to go celebrate with anybody in the end zone. So I raced out and gave him a hug. I guess the guys in stripes decided I was harmless and that I would go away if they just looked the other way. And I did. I went back and enjoyed the rest of the game, which we won. Ram, trucking prime. Dick Dewan's one of the best we've ever had here, guys. Talk about true Wildcats and Wild Guys, that's him. Ready, fire! It's something that makes Wildcat Stadium a special place to be at.